Hi everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today I want to do another video on Planet Finance. And before we go on, I am not being paid by Planet Finance. I found the project um, after doing some research for cake staking um, and I found it on, I think it was DeFi Llama. And I looked at it and I kind of researched it for a couple of days. I thought this is too good to be true, it's brilliant. I uh, looked into it more and I decided to finally invest in it because I thought this is just amazing. And I'm telling everybody else about it. That's what I'm doing. I believe as an investor in a project, you should be the marketer for the project as well. Tell everybody you can about it. That's the best way to market a product and a project is word of mouth. So this is what I'm doing. And this is why I'm doing so many videos on Planet Finance. Um, somebody commented the other day to say, are you getting paid by them? Um, also, somebody um, made a comment saying it looks kind of scammy because uh, the team are not doxxed. Pancake Swap. The team are not doxxed. Nobody knows who owns PancakeSwap. Uh, so they're not doxxed either. So Planet Finance, big company, um, big project, big plans. I think it's a brilliant one. Do your own research, of course. But today I want to talk about how you could turn $9,000 into $247,500. Big, big claims. But I'm going to show you how it's possible. And I'm going to show you specifically for Planet Finance. So I'm going to jump over. Now, this gives you all the details about what's going on in DeFi. DeFi is decentralized finance. Uh, it's, the future of, it's the future of the world, to be honest. That's not overstating it. That's probably an understatement. And um, this is a revolution in the financial world as we know it. And what do you think about it? It's happening just now. We can see at this moment there's $204.9 billion total value locked in the DeFi spaces. That's all the apps that are kind of using it, all the websites, everything that's using it, all the DEXs um, that they're using for staking, um, for lending, for borrowing, everything. Um, that's $204 billion locked. That's one-fifth of a trillion dollars. That is a massive sum. Uh, and this is it just getting started, really kind of getting started just now. Um, and we can see it was it has been low, much lower, and this year has really kind of exploded the DeFi space. So at the beginning of the year, it was around about 20 billion. It was total value locked, and it's 10 x from there. You can easily see it um, getting up to $10 trillion, $100 trillion total value locked uh, in the crypto space. So... That's what we're going to be looking at. So this is the kind of site I was looking at and looking at the total value locked. And seeing here, so I came down here and I looked at found Planet Finances at number, it was over 100 or something. Um, and the total value locked was about 180 million. It's now gone up to, I think, we'll just refresh that actually. I think it's number 87 or something like that. Um, where is it now? Planet Finance 87. So you can see the total value locked has gone up every day. 8.3% has climbed already uh, in the last 24 hours. Uh, over the last 14 days, 67% is up. And that's climbing every day. So $235 million total value locked in that just now, which is fantastic. Um, and that shows that a lot of people trust it. They put $235 million in it. And it has been audited um, as well. And the smart contracts look looks amazing as well. So that's, this is how I kind of found out about Planet Finance. So these are the some, some of the biggest kind of DeFi apps out there just now. Avi being the biggest one um, at 15.92 um, billion total value locked. And we're going to be looking at PancakeSwap as a comparison just now with 4.5 billion, 4.95 billion total value locked up in it just now. And we'll look at PancakeSwap at the moment. If we go to the pools side of PancakeSwap, it shows you here exactly kind of what this is all about. I'm not going to go into this as for another video for talking about yield farming and staking, but you can buy some cake and auto stake it at 73% APY, which means you're going to get 73% on top of whatever you put in. If that figure was to stay the same all the time, that figure goes up and down um, depending on what it was. It did start out something astronomical like 150%, 200%. 200 but the more people that come in, the more people there is to share out the rewards with. So the APY actually comes down. So that's why it's 73% and it'll come down 
the more people that um, can stake their cake in that as well. So you'd look at that and go, well, with a bank holding that in my bank, I'm only getting 0.01% interest rate on uh, a kind of savings account, which is really terrible just now. So it's really essentially doing nothing. So if you could buy cake and just put it in here and get 73% back, meaning if you put $10,000 in, you get $7,300 back, which is 17300 uh, in total, um, which would be amazing with a bank. You're going to get about $10 return on a $10,000 investment. So that's how this works um, with staking and PancakeSwap is one of the bigger ones. So uh, it should be one of the safer ones out there as well. But you can do other things as well to maximize your investments. So I've found this Planet Finance and there's a couple of great videos on Planet Finance I've found as well and I'll share the links down below um, with you and we can talk about that after. But I found Planet Finance and looked at it and said, okay, the Aqua Token, which is the main driver of the actual Planet Finance kind of world and the suite of DeFi apps. Um, the Aqua Token, you're getting a yield of 249% just now. That means if you put $9,000 in, you're going to get $31,500 back, if my maths is correct. Yeah, it is. So $31,500 you would get back. But as I said, this is going to fluctuate. Um, it's going to go up and down. I, I'm sure it didn't start at 249%. I'm sure it was much higher. So this will come down the more people that stake. And currently, there's $64 million total value locked in the Aqua Token alone just now. So... If more people go in, if that was to double, this might come down, not by half, but it might come down to 180%. Um, so if we conservatively say, okay, you're going to get 150% APY, because um, this is going to drop the more people go into it. If we conservatively say, if you put $9,000 into this, you get 150% APY on it. 150% of 9,000 is 13,500. Add on your 9,000, which is a total of $22,500. So keep that figure in mind, $22,500. So we'll just kind of write this down. So initial investment, $9,000, 150% for $9,000 deposited, $22,500 total after you've finished, which is great. If you hold it for a year and you got $22,500 back for $9,000, you go sign me up, we're just sign, let me spend all my money and put it in here um, for sure. But obviously you can't put all your eggs in one basket for obvious reasons. So $9,000, $22,500 back, fantastic. However, we're going to go to this. This is um, yield farming, and essentially that is what Planet Finance is all about. It's maximizing your returns with yield farming, with staking, and with lending and borrowing um, as well. So top yield farmers, Uniswap, 30 million market cap, 13 billion market cap, PancakeSwap, four and a half billion market cap. Aave, four billion. Sushi, two billion. Compound, nearly two billion as well. So you go, that's fantastic. We're going to look at PancakeSwap just now. And you can see PancakeSwap at the moment have a succulent supply of their cake tokens of 229 million. But if you look at the total supply, there's an infinite amount of total supply, which means there's no stopping when the PancakeSwap token is going to be produced. It's going to keep on producing all the time and currently it's a rate of about 350,000 um, per day just now. But that will um, kind of be compensated with the burning of the cake tokens as well with various things to do with the fees, etc. But it's, it's still going to be emitting much more than it is burning just now. So it's an inflationary token. So it's still worth $4.5 billion just now. But it is an inflationary token. That's an important point to remember. Now, you might say that's ridiculous why they're doing that. But ETH, Ethereum is exactly the same. If we look at Ethereum, you can see circulating supply, 117 million. Total supply is infinite. So this is what ETH 2.0 is all about. ETH 2.0 is going to start burning transactions. It's going to become a proof of stake rather than a proof of work. And they're going to start burning Ethereum. They're doing that every single day as well. Um, hopefully at a rate they're going to burn more than they emit. Um, this is what ETH 2.0 is all about. And this is why everybody's excited about um, Ethereum as well. Gas fees are something else aside. That's going to be fixed in ETH 2.0. But essentially, at the moment, 
has got an infinite supply, means it's going to be producing every day Ethereum tokens. But that is still worth got a market cap of $419 billion just now. So people are not paying attention to that. They're paying attention to what's been built upon Ethereum. So it's important to have that in mind. Now, if we look at Planet Finance, we see the circulating supply is 76,841. Total supply is 76,841 at the moment. The maximum supply is going to be 99,966. They've already burned um, a few hundred tokens and that's not reflected in this price. So they've already burned. So there is only ever going to be a maximum supply of aqua tokens, which is the main driver and the governance token that's becoming a DAO for Planet Finance. So after November, roughly November the 23rd, there's going to be no more aqua tokens produced at the moment. There's 500 aqua tokens emitted per day. Um, and that will stop on November the 23rd. So as soon as that stops, aqua token, Planet Finance, is going to become a deflationary token. So how is it going to be deflationary? Well, aqua tokens just now are being burned uh, at the moment at a rate of about six aqua tokens per day. And that's kind of using the fees and everything that's um, kind of coming out. Um, with regards to when you trade on the AMM, um, they'll take some of the fees and use that to burn the, the aqua tokens. So it's been burned at a rate of about six per day just now. And we can look to see how many has been burned. 219 in total has been burned. So there's going to be burning every day, even after November the 23rd. So that means it goes from an inflationary token to a deflationary token. Now, when something becomes deflationary, it means it's going to be more scarce. So they're going to be burning tokens all the time, but there's still going to be a utility for it as well. They're going to be using it for other things as well as rewards. So it's going to be a governance, it's going to be a DAO, and basically uh, anybody that holds aqua tokens can vote on what is happening with the actual project itself with Planet Finance and vote on proposals as well. So it's going to have utility as well, but essentially it's going to be a governance token. So it's still going to be very, very scarce. And there's going to be gamma tokens that are going to be produced after the green planet comes out um, as well. And I'll tell you all about that in another video. Um, but it's going to work hand in hand with that. But the main driver of planet finance is going to be aqua. Now, if we look at the market capitalization of planet finance, $70 million. $70 million compared with pancake swap. 70 million, uh, PancakeSwap's got 4.5 billion. So to get to PancakeSwap's level, you'd have to times that by 70. So 70 times 70 million is 4.9 billion. But if you're multiplying this by 70, you also have to multiply this by 70 as well. So 70 times 916 is $64,000. Now you're thinking that that's $64,000 for the price of Planet Finance. That's just ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, but we have to be conservative when we're doing things like this. So I'm going to say conservatively that Planet Finance could go up to have at least, say, seven or $800 million market capitalization, which is an 11x from where it is just now. That would give it a valuation of round about, say, $10,000. So if we multiply that by 11, roughly $10,000. So $10,000 to have, say, just about, around about 800 million market capitalization. I think that's extremely conservative, but I'm going to be conservative nonetheless for this to show you how you could get to $247,500. So we're going to go back to this page. And say, okay, your initial investment was 9,000. You're already getting 22,500 from the APY for staking the aqua tokens. Now, what we do is multiply that figure by 11, and you get $247,500. Now, I know there's other factors involved with this as well, but you can see how I'm being conservative. You can see how this is kind of easily achievable. And there's a couple of basic assumptions here. The assumption is you're going to get an average of 150% for 
for your 9,000. The other assumption is that it's going to go up by 11x. So I like to do something called trading with conviction or investing with conviction. And that is research a company or a project very well and then invest in it with conviction. So you don't listen to what anybody else says. You've done your research. Obviously, you kind of do research from other people as well and find out more about it. Um, but once you invest in something, like stick with it. Um, keep on adding to it, market it um, as well. Uh, if something goes wrong, obviously you have to look for things going wrong as well. You're going to kind of get out or you're going to kind of speak to the team about it as well. But an 11x for this, 800 million market capitalization, a $9,000 initial investment could easily get you, I say, if you're going to stake it and you're going to use everything, all the tools available, you get to $247,500. Now, there's a couple of brilliant videos that I would research Planet Finance. I wouldn't kind of go and jump in it just now and buy the Aqua Token. I research it, do your own research first. This is not financial advice in any way, shape or form. This is me just loving numbers and seeing how numbers work and using it to say, okay, this is how I could maximize my, maximize my return on the investments I have. Rather than just trading and trading shit coins and kind of meme coins and stuff like that, you could make a lot of money just by holding, by trading and investing with conviction. Uh, and that's what this is. If you find a great project like this, add to it, help them, market them, um, word of mouth, everything. So there's a couple of brilliant videos on Planet Finance to do your own um, research. And there's videos here. I've done a couple of videos, but there's videos from Cruising on Crypto. Some amazing videos. He talks all about yield farming as well. And there's one from Simon's. Um, where is it? Yeah, Simon's Altcoins. If you go to Simon's Altcoins and look at his videos on Planet Finance as well, a couple of great videos. I'll post the links down below. Uh, I've got a video here as well called a hidden gem. This could explode over the next few months and it's all about planet finance. So I talk about it there as well if you want to do more research. And this is one from Dallas Rushing um, as well. So check out, do your own research, but you can clearly see that a $9,000 investment could, could hypothetically get you $247,500 if you're to invest at the moment. Obviously, if you're watching this video and planet finance is already at $10,000, then you're not going to get that necessarily because Planet Finance would have to go up to $100,000 um, after that if you're watching this video on at 10x. Okay, that's it for just now. I just want to show you this. I know it's a, a bold claim to make, but you can see the numbers for yourself. The numbers don't lie. Okay, until next video. Namaste. Take care. Bye now.